Hi guys, Soup here to talk a little bit more about SimHub and SimHub settings. I've made a couple videos about my settings and how I came to the conclusion with my settings. But one of the questions I keep getting asked about is how do you fine tune your settings for your own individual preferences in SimHub? So I'm gonna go over a quick feature in SimHub that I'm sure a lot of people know about, but if you don't, this video is gonna be really helpful in really tuning those haptic feedback pedals to really how you wanna get them. And this isn't just for haptic feedback in your pedals, this is for haptic feedback if you have bass shakers under your seat, if you've got bass shakers on the corners of your rig, uh, anywhere in your rig, if you're using SimHub for haptic feedback, this is how you're really gonna fine tune those vibrations to make it feel the way you wanna feel while you're racing. So let's go ahead and get right into it so we can get you guys racing faster. We're here in SimHub, and in the top right corner of the screen, you can see that there's either a live, a replay, or record button. We wanna go ahead and hit that record button. I have a vertical monitor to my right here, and then I have a regular horizontal monitor in front of me that I do all my gameplay on. I wanna go ahead and do the recording on that first monitor. So I'll go ahead and hit start recording, and then, I'm gonna go into any game. So let's go into Dirt Rally 2.0. Once I'm in Dirt Rally 2.0, I just wanna start any driving. So I'm just gonna to go to free play and I'm just gonna free roam around dirt fish here. So just drive around, make sure you hit bumps, make sure you go over the surfaces that you're gonna be driving and really make sure you're hitting the surfaces that you wanna fine tune the vibrations for. So we'll come back here and now, instead of hitting the record button, we're gonna hit the replay button. And we'll go ahead and hit play on the replay because as you can see, when I hit the replay button, it shows up. The, the drive that I just did shows up. So we'll go ahead and hit play on this. So now that this replay is playing, we can go into the individual settings for the game and watch the live telemetry come back. Okay, and say there's a particular area that we really, really, really want to take a look at, we can do a replay range from here to here only. We just wanna look at that area where I'm shifting gears, for example. And maybe we wanna change the way the gear shifting feels. Maybe, we, maybe it's not clunky enough, so maybe we wanna move that down to 10 hertz instead of 15 hertz. It's a lot duller now. It's a lot sharper if we move it to 15. I always have liked it at 15. Maybe it's too long. Maybe we need it to be a shorter clunk. So maybe we'll move that to 900 instead of one uh, instead of 1,000. Wheel lock is in there though. So let's find some wheel lock. Here's some wheel lock right here. But let's find a bunch of it because we really want to like we want to find when I'm like really locking those wheels. Yeah, there's some intense wheel lock right there. And in the meantime, while we're trying to fine tune with this replay, the wheel lock, let's go ahead and turn off the gear clunking because we can feel the gear clunking, it's just messing everything up. So we can see the feedback here. And the interesting thing is there's actually no feedback right now in the pedal. So I'm not getting any haptic feedback. So we want to change that. We want to feel that wheel lock right there. It's only when pressed, there's the issue right there. We're only gonna feel it when we press the pedal. So even during replay, we have to push the pedal to feel that feedback. So once I stepped on the, the brake, now I feel that feedback. And you know what, it feels right. That's, that's actually how I want it to feel. But in here now, I could change the frequency if I wanted to, which makes it, you know, be a sharper, more, more, uh, more, more vibratey feeling or more of a clunk if you go lower. So that's how you can go through each one of your effects in a replay. You can do replays in any game that has telemetry output to SimHub, any game that's compatible with SimHub. You can go through, record your, your gameplay, go through, do a replay, and then fine tune however you want the vibrations to feel in each of these individual effects. You can add effects, you can remove effect, effects. And like I said, this isn't just applicable to haptic feedback on your pedals. This is applicable to haptic feedback all over your rig. Just remember when you're done, go ahead and go back to live because we wanna actually get the live telemetry. We don't want that replay playing when we're in a official series trying to race. If you didn't know about the replay feature in SimHub, I hope that helps you out. Please don't forget to do all the YouTube stuff and everybody have a great day.